Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 8 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we continue working on adding furnitures and we added some room tags. So here, uh, we're going to add in the windows that we need to add. And those ones, uh, we already use some for our ground floor. So if we check here, we have it already placed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double check which one that we use. So 750 by 900 because I want to have a consistent width on some of them. So for this washroom, we put 600 and here we put 750. So I just want to do that as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that CS, go to our second floor, and I'm going to add it onto this side. So for this washroom, let's add it right here. And then for this washroom, let's add it on this side. Here, I'm just going to add it for now, but I'm going to change it afterwards. So add it, press escape, and this one will be the, let's see, for 900 by 900. I think that's good enough for that. And then let's go back to the ground floor and I want to see what we use here. So we use 1550 and here we use 2150 by 1500. I think we're going to use this one same. So CS and then we're going to use that for the master. So actually I'm going to rotate this I want it to be facing like that so I'm, I could add this one right there this one right here and right there and for the bedroom right here we could add it like that so I just want it to be consistent on all of them this one we need to rotate so I'm just gonna grab this all of this and then rotate it 90 degrees on this side and then use the arrow key so it looks better we can nudge this one on this side and that's about it okay that looks better somewhere in the middle of the wall okay then let's click on the the basement and here I want to see or recreate the ones that we did for our ground floor so we need to go to our underlay and then let's look at the ground floor so by doing that we will able to recreate the basement like this so I'm gonna click wall and change this to exterior wall and click on A1 to A4 going down here like that 
and finish it up back there. I want to extend this one and extend this one as well. The reason for that, this will be an unexcavated part of the house. And then after that, we can remove the underlay. We don't need to see it anymore. So none. And then here, this is basically same as everything. But actually, we just need to copy. So let's copy the stairs. So click on this. Click on copy to clipboard and then paste it, align selected level, and go to basement. After that, let's go to our 3D. I want to see that. So as you can see, and then here, we will need to flip it on the other side. So go to our basement, and let's flip it. Okay. So now once we see it, it will be, so this one's going up and this one's going down. Okay. In order for us to see it better or to understand it better, let's try and Change this so actually it's incorrect. Let me see. Or I believe we need to do another basement. So let me see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this. I'm going to edit and I'm going to move it. So right there, move this one back. And let's see it again. 3D. I just want this one to be leveled on the sec on the first floor. So we need to add one more. So go back to basement, edit the stairs, pull this back like that. And I believe that's pretty much it. So this will be our floor. This is going up and this one's going down. So we did that. So basement and don't forget to change the transparency so that you don't see that thing anymore okay so that's good for the exterior wall on this I think it's better if we change this to a different exterior wall so let's duplicate this. This will be exterior wall number two. Edit type. This will be concrete masonry. So let's change this one. And then press OK and then OK. So now we need to click on some of the walls. So I want this wall be change and then change it to exterior wall so that's fine everything is done this is the foundation of this building or this house so now what we could do is we could just add in the location of the water heater and sometimes we also add um, some washroom 
below here. So let's add in a wall like that. And let's align this one like that. And then let's insert the washroom first. So the tub, toilet. So the tub first. And then the toilet afterwards. And then the sink or the vanity. Let's change this to 1500. Sorry, this one should be 2000. Twenty five hundred. Twenty two hundred. Sorry. So let's do that so that it, there's more room. And then let's just align this one. So around sixteen. Sixteen. Let's do it sixteen sixty. Okay, so that's good enough. And let's go to annotate and let's add in the detail for this. Don't forget the door. So I'll let's use the same door, C S, and then go back to basement. Let's add in some doors here. So go back to architecture. Don't connect this yet, AL. And then connect it now. We're going to do some, so around 1200 would be good enough. And click on here. We could add in our water heater. So specialty equipment. Domestic. I think it's not here. I think it's plumbing. So go to specialty equipment, domestic, mid-range, so washer and dryer, okay, so selecting both of them. And let's add it here. So we have the dryer. And then let's add in the washer here. Let's change this to 1500. So 
instead of here, I want to place it onto this. So around 3,000. So washer and dryer. Let's put some door. So CS. And then this one would be for the water heater. So we could just put a detail line. So we have the water heater and then our heater. Usually they're side by side like that. We can add in a tag. So I'm going to tag it here. And then let's tag this one as well. Change this scale so that we can see it properly. This will be an X Elevated. We don't need to show the room. Or I'll just leave it for now. Washroom 3. And this is unfinished basement. And actually, I don't mind it if we remove the room number. Okay. And we could also add in a cold room here. So let's add in. around 1500 um, let's add in a door cs and then room tag old room so basement is done i'm just double checking everything looks good so i'm happy with it so we're gonna finish here for now and continue on the next video thank you for watching and i hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below